She's the definition of beauty and a beast. She's fresh off a Sports Illustrated cover, and she's one of the best female fighters on the planet. So I'm feeding her crepes. It's Paige Van Zandt. This is Food Truck Diaries. Welcome to Food Truck Diaries. Thank you. Appreciate I'm you coming excited. down. I know you just got done shooting with Sports Illustrated. You've probably been on a strict diet, so I'm gonna feed you crepes, and then we'll awesome. take it from there. Have you nice. guys tried any of this? Next level? Awesome. Can crepes be at a different level? Just fuck with your crepe guy. How you doing, boss? I'm good, how you guys doing? Good. Hi. Ooh, there's Chipotle sauce on Southwestern. I'm gonna go Southwestern. Okay, you got it. Chipotle. That turns me away from it. What? The sauce did. Yeah. I'll try the California Sunrise. But because we're here and it's great, I'll also do the hazel berry. Or we'll do the banana foster one too. Yeah. Let's just bring them up. Let's get them all. And I'll wash it down with a Diet Coke. Hey, I'll go Diet Coke too. Ooh, two Diet Thank Cokes. Diet Coke. pushing it here. Thank you. I'm a dessert guy with crepes. It's really early. saying it's I'm early. a good savory like, person. Yeah, when I lived in Sacramento on Tamalfa Mill, we had this place called Crepeville, and I ate there like every day. What kind of crepes? Though? Like, like the good one. I've been done my tr uh, treat myself mode. Forced my husband to take me to Disneyland. You get, last time you guys were out here, you were at Disneyland. Yeah. You guys just love I it. I really like Disneyland. As soon as I saw you guys, I was like, what have you been doing? You said Disney. I'm Disneyland. like, I'm sure you get harassed there, though. Like, that's your demo. Yes, actually, quite a bit of uh, people stopped me at Disneyland, which I was, you know, surprised about. Really? I don't, I, LA, I don't know. Disneyland? Disneyland? I don't know. Really? Didn't seem like. First thing I thought of. I thought of kids get, and. You can, I, I, but I feel like your demo would be younger. Actually, it's mostly dads. I have a lot of dad, dad fans. <laughs> Lots of dads. I get that. No, I definitely get that. I can see that. I would love, not that I ever, I would, and I'm sure your husband maybe does. I would love, I bet your DMs are so creepy. Uh, so creepy? Because my DMs get creepy. There's I a can't lot of stuff I cannot those. talk about I in, in my DMs. Yes. I bet. It gets weird. It gets really weird. It gets really weird. Well, and it's even worse because they even like stopped messaging me and they'll message him and say like, hey, can I do this to your wife? And he like, uh, no, man, does he, he entertain He totally it? entertains it. Does he, he really? Well, and he like, he goes back and forth with them and he starts to draw, like he actually, lo like it's entertaining for him to start communicating with these people. He has a tough gig because he's a talented fighter. Yep. He's in Bellator, yep. he's a professional fighter, but he's married to you. Yeah. And so most of your fan base he could be John Jones and they would hate him because yeah. he's married to you. He, he's yeah. gonna get hate no matter he's what. Get a lot he of knows hate. this. Yeah. What he signed up for, though, right? He know. I well, he's he, he's learning. Does he he's just does he out. ignore it? No, he doesn't ignore it. Wow. He totally. See, I feel I'm like really that's good toxic. at. You know, when you're in this industry, you have to ignore a lot. I don't read any comments. I, I don't read comments I either. I post and then I'm out. Walk I, look away. At, I, I look at my friend's page. Which is funny, actually. So I started, I went back on doing like my Facebook fan page, which I haven't been on in like two years. Sure. So I'll, I was doing like, I'll post every now and then, I'll put stuff up on there and then just forget about it. So I actually started doing my Facebook again. Everything is positive. I didn't get one negative comment on Facebook. You think it's just like an Instagram thing? I think it's just Instagram. And Instagram and Twitter, I feel like Facebook, you're communicating with like real people. Ah, uh, that makes sense. And then on, like they actually, it's their real profile. Maybe some and Russian bots, but they're always kind of yeah, friendly. Yeah, that. Right? Instagram, I feel like you can be whoever you want and you like hide and Yeah, you might know. be right. So let's talk about that. You posted a picture with a ATT shirt on. I did. What's going on with that? Okay, so. You jump, but that's before you go there, yeah. you're like, oh, best camp ever. Yeah, It was all about ever. me. And I see the picture, and I remember you saying that, and I see the picture with the ATT shirt, I'm like, and I'm like switching News camps? coming. Yeah. Okay, yes. So, and then that kind of got watered did down. Did you announce and, the news yet, by the way? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. No, it might have been in my uh, story. I might have said something. But because I, everything came out about my arm having surgery, everything came out that I only have one fight left on my UFC contract. Uh, that, that one, it all got announced on the exact same day that people didn't even pay attention or notice that, yes, I'm not leaving my gym, but my team, like I've always talked about how amazing it is, uh, we're now franchising with American Top Team. 
We're going to be the oh. official West Coast American Top Team. Okay, that's cool. So yeah. you're not switching teams. You're just, no. you're basically just getting new logos. Basically getting new logos. And, logos and you can go down there if you want. So, but. exactly. We Now we have, like, access to all of, obviously, American Top Team is one of the best franchise gyms. Amazing, and yeah. they have the best fighters, best coaches. Now we have access to all of those teammates. We have access to all the coaches. Um, and we want to be known for more for a fight gym. We've been known as Gracie Baja forever, just a which is gym. yeah. So yeah. you think it's just a jujitsu gym, but it's not. We have 50 or more active fighters, and then Damn. we have yeah. Between myself is in the UFC. We have Ricky Simone who is fighting Uriah. Oh, I like Uriah him. Favorite. So That's Ricky the guy is with my the teammate. Mullet. Yeah. Shout out to Ricky. Ricky, I like that who's guy. awesome, yeah, and great. he uh, you know sacrifices like comes in and helps me train and gets me ready for my fights. Uh, but we have those two, uh, Ed Herman. We have oh, a few like the older guys, yeah. right? Ed is there. Chael Sonnen is there. My husband's there. We have maybe like five more Bellator team. fighters, five or team. six more. Yeah, we're doing yeah, I, really I, I, good. When I saw a picture, I'm like, man, she's leaving the ATT. That's a weird move because she's yep. so happy. Just bought there. a house. <laughs> you got a lot going on. So, you fought Rachel. Yep. You beat her. Yep. Then you go in and knowing how the UFC works, I'm sure they were trying to renegotiate your contract before you get to this last one, correct? So it came down to like this, we were actually almost signed a contract to get my next fight like done with. Then I rebroke my arm and then in this process they were like, oh, by the way, does Paige want a new deal? And you're like, how many do I have left? Like, like one. Oh, I was like, oh, yeah. okay. Well, I, I just didn't realize because my deal was done like, this contract, because I've had so many injuries, I took Dancing with the Stars. It takes a while, right? It took a long time. It was a six-fight contract. I negotiated my contract with... Yourself? Uh, myself. Well, me and my manager went in and had a meeting okay. with Sean Shelby and uh, actually the guys from Zufa. Oh, nice. With uh, Lorenzo. Okay. Fertitta. Yeah. So, obviously... That was back they, in the day. Though. Back in the day. So, yeah. then that was right before I was the main event against Rose Namajunas in Vegas. Tight so. Move. It was, you know, years ago. Yeah. I didn't remember. Different I figured, game now. yeah, diff way different. So, so where, where are you at with things now? Do you feel any pressure? I mean, breaking your arm, whatever. You're gonna come back and fight. That's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah, no matter but what. Most people, and the way usually the UFC does it is, they'll renegotiate their contract before you fight it. Before your last you fight one. it out, yeah. You're gonna do like the Eddie Alvarez style and freaking, you're like, no, nah, I'm gonna bet on myself, win this one, be on the win streak, Sports Illustrated. You got all this stuff all going this stuff on. All the stuff working for me. What's yeah. up? So, Show me the money. So that's kind of, I'm in this like game of limbo where I feel like I haven't been able to really prove what I'm worth lately just because, of course, I have all these other I disagree. I disagree with that. I mean, maybe because, what, because you haven't been so I active? Because haven't fought, yeah. Yeah, but you did fight Rachel, who's a beast, yeah. you know, and you beat her. That was on ESPN. Mm -hmm. And then out nowadays, especially with the, the market with, with ESPN, mm -hmm. outside the cage is just as big as inside, inside the cage. Yeah. So well, and I feel like with like Rhonda things. gone, Misha gone, I feel like I want to be that woman that's proving herself. I want to be the very, the top one, the most famous one, the one who's like doing the most within the UFC. And uh, yeah, I have one left and I just, I don't know, I want to show my worth and I feel like you, it's you just going to make I would my do? value go up. I agree. You know what I would do? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, nope, let's hold off, see how this fight goes. I'd bet on you. I'd always bet on myself. Yeah. Well, always, yeah. always, always. That's what we did. That's what we, you're doing? Yeah. They, we kind of like, we started the negotiation process and then what my manager did and I was like, you know what, let's, I want to fight this one out. Yeah. I didn't even want to hear it. I don't want to talk about it. Like, no, I don't even want to talk numbers. I want to, I want to fight this contract out and just bet on myself. Because, yeah, you bet on yourself and let's say everything goes according to plan, you mm -hmm. come back. You got all this momentum. You beat whoever they give you in, let's say, December. Yep. And then it's like, what? Well, show me the money, man. And then yeah. you can use one championship, Bellator, and they're going to make crazy offers. And, and you're then, like, hey, here's my value. This is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because then I feel like I can actually have a number to go off of. Like, for me right now, it is hard for me to put a number on myself. I feel like if I can have other people doing it for me, then it's like I can come forward and. I agree. Here, here's the problem with putting a number on yourself, especially with the UFC models. With ESPN, it's we, it's tricky. Everyone, it is. it's so new. Yeah, we don't know. It. Like you have a huge fan base. Yep. You know these other guys have huge fan bases, but with the you know behind the paywall and you know yep. and the digital move, like it's great and that's the future. Yeah. But we don't know anybody's worth. No, and it's you don't know yours compared to I you know, know some of the other stars that they're bringing in. I know. You know what's my comparison to Greg Hardy? Yeah. What's my comparison to another like in my. I feel like I should compare myself to anybody who's on the UFC roster, or do I only compare myself to the females in my division? I feel like I'm going to be able to have like a little bit more knowledge of my value. More knowledge, but also you're a tougher... I'm a harder sell. 
No, God. Uh, well, no, what are I you guess talking okay. about? No, you're the easiest sell okay. because you you bring so much more dynamics outside of just fighting, which is what ESPN, what these guys want. Yeah. Most people can't. Like, yeah. There's not most people. They're just all they all they do is fight. You have yeah. all this other stuff everything going else on. going yeah. on. I'm excited for you. I, I'm excited. I like I when the contract's up, yeah, and all this pressure's it on you. Suck. I, mean, I it's like, like it. a bummer that it's at the exact same time that I have arm surgery. It's like I can't have like one battle to like face. This is uh, a surgery, surgery you had number before. three on the same same uh, same arm, different different spot. What happened? I broke a completely different spot in my arm. What happened? I was so I fought in January against Rachel Osovich. Yes. Which was great. I won the fight. I go home feeling really good. I was already talking to the UFC about getting the next fight matched up. Uh, I was sparring and I just elbowed a dude in the head and uh, fractured through one of my screw holes. Damn. So I was in a completely different spot. Damn. Completely different break. I elbowed the guy way too hard. I'm, I'm not supposed to elbow people with a plate in anymore. And so when that happens, how frustrated are you? Because oh, you had a so long layoff, mad. right? And then you come I, back, great performance. And then. I finally thought I was like getting momentum because I was feeling really good. To be honest, like this is the best camp I've ever had. The best coaches, the best teammates. It's like. I have everything in my favor. Everything is 100% just like focused on me. And then I can just keep breaking breaking things, so. And so then you call the UFC, you're like, hey man, well, broke it again. Well, I went and got an x-ray and they were like, no, it's not broken. We can't see anything. So they sent me on my way. And I was like, ah, it hurts really bad. I know it's broken. We went to uh, Austin's fight. So I went to wherever he was fighting, still with a broken arm, went to Alaska with a broken arm, went and shot Sports Illustrated. And I was like, no, I know my arm is still broken. So even on Sports Illustrated, I was like model, doing the whole thing with was a broken Sports arm. Sports Illustrated like, damn girl, four like they're like, so, Yeah, they're yeah. like, oh, that's a little, like, little uh, We have little Photoshop scary that. Yeah. looking. Yeah. Uh, I went and did a CT scan and I had fractured through my entire arm. God. And they were damn. like, oh yeah, it's broken. Damn, way to go first doc. Yeah, first doctor. So then with. you have to have surgery next week. I have surgery next week. And you're out for how long? You think? Uh, only like three months. When you get injured, you know how it sucks. You're on the sidelines and you have a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But like, I think with knowing that this is your last fight contract or the last yeah. fight on your contract, it puts more pressure for you to just come back in it's such so a soon. beast mode. I know. And that's but exactly like, what I want to do. But, like, and you don't want to rush it where you're in because yeah. I think it's going to force you to make the best decision. Make the best decision. I'm, yeah. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. We're up. Awesome. All right, well, got some crepes for you. Little, I don't know, I don't know what to say sour. A little Southwestern <laughs> and Southwestern. sweet. Southwestern. Yeah. Southwestern, interesting move. Are these the same ones that when you were eating at Team Alpha Male? Um, I mean, it's close. I'll have to, I mean, you got to taste it and find out. You've never had a savory crepe? No, I only They're have, really I good. the only crepes I know are filled with chocolate. Mm -mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. We've never had a bad food truck. Food truck gods, man. <laughs> that would be a bummer. The only dicey one we had is, uh, I don't want to say dicey, but it was like mm -hmm. Caribbean food. Okay. Our boy Jack Swagger ate oxtail. Oh, boy. When it's fighting about 30 seconds, though. Shout uh, maybe, out to oxtail. Yeah, maybe that's the, the key. Mm -hmm. Come on, show's the key. Um, tell me a little bit about Sports Illustrated. How did that come yeah. about? Does the UFC go, hey, Use Paige for Sports Illustrated. Actually, Sports Illustrated came to us. Makes sense. And that's kind of how I got Dancing with the Stars, too, which it was, you know, a while ago. They, Dancing with the Stars just came to us. And, of course, it's awesome to have the UFC, like, the machine, like, promoting me behind everything. Um, they've supported everything and, like, promoted everything I've done. But Of course. No, Sports Illustrated actually came to my managers and were like, hey, would you ever be, like, interested? How long ago was that? Not that long ago. Really? They, it just came out in May. I know. So I, I figured you shot it a little bit ago. No, I was lucky. So normally that you like shoot a magazine that like takes months and months and months to fit, shoot the whole thing. Yeah. And then, you know, to process and come out. I was the very last shoot. Damn. So I only had to wait like a month for it to come out. It was awesome. And did you have to diet? Go? Is, you never get big or out of shape. Yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> you know, some, some female fighters are like, excuse me, who is that? Like, you're like... You know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, so I can get a little thick, but it's okay because my husband likes a little bit of thick. Um, and I went up a weight class, so it's okay. Yeah. Well, actually, so because my arm was broken, I did not work out. I didn't diet. I didn't do anything for, for that. For the photo shoot? No. I was like, hey, they want me now. This Damn. is what they get. You're like, I woke up like I this. I didn't diet for my wedding either. 
I think my wedding was like the thickest I've ever been. Yeah, but you, I mean, you're not, you're not this a This is big might be person. the thickest I've ever been ever, too. What? Yeah, yeah you, well, I mean, I used person, to cut though. to 115, but I, I have to remember, I have to remind myself, like, when I was, when I signed to the UFC, I was 19. So, when I was first making that cut to 115, you know, I was a teenager. Ah, listen, like, I'm, I'm 36. <laughs> I could not, I, this is the thickest I've ever been. I do a food truck show. <laughs> I, I don't hey, know. I am on a lot of cooking shows, too, though. I just filmed, like, a top golf. Uh, cooking competition, and I was a judge. And I got to eat wings. Oh, that how was, was it? That was because good. you uh, last mean, time we spoke, you want to do it like a food. You're into food. Like, I'm you want to do a food. food I want to have my own. Yeah, I want to like, have. You want to do food show. truck diary. You just want to take this over. And I'll be the new host. Yeah, just oh, take it over. Oh, we can do that. If we you're ever out of that. town, I'll host it and I'll bring guests. One hundred percent. You will. You'll fill in as a good host. Good idea. Yep. Okay. After I love it. And you have some time off. I will. We make that happen. Just mm -hmm. don't do a better job than me. Okay, or I can do. bring some cool guests on too. That's right. I have an interesting following list. Oh, that's true. Let's bring yeah. one of those creepy dads on. <laughs> that's good. So, just like, so you slid into my He's DM. Just staring what was at you. About? Just staring at you in the hot dog. Where yeah, so Sports there? Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. It was super fun. Um, let me let me ask you this. Dream come true. I would love to do it again. How crazy? Because now they're like Playboy's really out of it. They're yeah. not really around mm -hmm. anymore. So you got Victoria's Secret Supermodels, and then Sports Illustrated. Yeah. That's, I mean, if you're one that, you're, cool. you a model. Yeah, you well, model? no, so I went to the, like, the release party in Miami, and I was actually the only athlete that showed up, because maybe, I mean, maybe, what I got invited. What other athletes were on there? Lindsey Vaughn, who's actually been in Sports Illustrated, like, three times. Uh, Simone Biles. Um, a soccer player was actually on the cover. Alex? Yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. Super pretty, amazing. So All her, of them are very pretty. Different vibe, the kind of... It's a mixed fruit there. It totally is. But I liked that this, like, I guess this magazine, because it put, like, any style of body you're interested in. Like, it had, like, everything. Super fun. Um, I was thinking next, though, because, like, you might as well go for it. I was basically butt naked on, like, in the, in the magazine. Were you butt naked in the magazine? Pretty close. Like, some of the swimsuits were, like... I'm going to have that dad DM me the pictures. Um, <laughs> did... Some of the swimsuits were, like, ugh. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. Did you know what you were getting into when you went on there? No. But was I your had, husband with you? He was there. So oh, then I was like, shout out. how does this yeah. look? And then he's, uh, and he picked out my outfit today, so thank you. Oh, what's uh, up? Good job, Austin. <laughs> Good outfit He's choice. like, you're Kanye. You know, Kanye <laughs> dresses Kim. You did good. Yeah. So he was there, and I was like, is this too much? He's like, I love it. Like, rock on. You got to get You gotta get after it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two thumbs. He loved it. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Paige, because I, I, I deal with it on my end. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have any... Was there any reservations when they asked you to do the Sports Illustrated thing? Because the haters are like, dude, so she barely ever fights. And then yep. she's in Sports Illustrated. Yep. She's on Dancing with the Stars. Mm -hmm. So when you agree to do these things, obviously it's great for you and your career yeah. personally. But is there any, like, you know what I'm reservations? saying? Reservations, Because yeah. you know the, the, the hard know cores. The, yeah, and like, yeah. dude, she should be fighting. When it comes to, like, amazing opportunities, uh, I'm more like, haha, my my like, haters are going to love this and i like it like pumps me up uh -huh. super pumped to like have more opportunities and like not rub it in people's faces but just to continue to succeed despite the hate yeah success is the best way to it, it is yeah. i love it but then when it comes to like negative negative stuff like when i post about my arm like oh i'm having surgery again that's what you get that's yeah. what you get oh you suck at fighting and all this and that and it's like a hundred percent negative so then i like typed up this like evil like no. message no i totally did and i sent it to my manager he's like yeah don't post that and i was like well i wasn't going to i just wanted somebody just wanted to, to get it out just wanted yeah, to get it out i just it wanted out. somebody i wanted to get it out to somebody it's the only knock they can give you you know what i'm saying yeah. like you're killing it outside so the one thing they're like uh you're not fighting enough like, yeah all right cool man cool. Sports Illustrated. well the hard thing though is it's like then because i want to stand up for myself and be like oh well look at dominant cruz who was the best at his game forever still is continues to have the same injury like list always has surgery but well, you don't even have to do that thing. yeah i know you, you don't need to do any of that yeah i mean there, there should be any references or anything mm -hmm. you know like you're you're doing what you want to do yeah but and also doing, yeah also every other girl would love to be in your position mm -hmm. oh if you ask any of those girls on the the same weight class same mm -hmm. roster hey you want to be in sports illustrated or you want to be on dance with the stars like yeah, yeah. man how many millions of followers you, you want this million followers like hell yeah I they're do. pretty yeah yeah it's pretty good and I mean, and but it feels. Do you, do you feel like, as far as like getting being taken serious as a fighter, does that ever cross your mind? Yes. yes. Well, and it's hard to be like. 
I, I guess because I have had some awesome wins. You know, I've had some cool knockouts, like been super. You don't need to validate this to me, girl. I know. I, I'm, 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 I'm saying I have my own insecurities when it comes to comedy, to, where I'm yeah. like, oh, if I do that, man, then they're not going to take me serious in this arena, yeah. you know? So, so that's I, why I think I'm, the reason I know exactly it's like, how you yeah, feel. I think the reason it is such a, like, a sensitive area is it's because that's what I want to do. So it's like because I, I was taken away from fighting because my arm is having surgery. Like, because I, I am having surgery again. I train every single day. Yeah. Like, I do stuff like this once every six months or yeah. dancing with the stars once a year. And um, my passion still is fighting. It's what I train every single day. So to have it, like, taken away and then be hated for having it taken away. Yeah. Not by my choice is frustrating. But really, I, I don't hear too much from other fighters about it. It's more, no, more yeah. just dummies Random on the dude, internet. Yeah, yeah which fans. don't matter. They, exactly. They, they, they do not matter. But mm -hmm. do, do you, when you do like Sports Illustrated or Dancing with the Stars, do you feel like you're getting judged from your peers? Like, have, has I don't think any oh, of the fighters mm -hmm. have really talked shit about no, you. No, I think actually lately I've had a lot of like, love from like my fellow fighters i bet which I they would all love to do it yeah which i didn't have before like it took until like a new era a new wave of fighters to come through i did have a ton of like hate from fighters in my division or within my realm at first and now i feel like they're kind of like coming around to like the love train the love train yeah. the page love, <laughs> the train. Page love train they should yeah they should. Which is really nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, I just, when, when I say this, sports just like, oh, that's awesome. Like, I wonder if she feels like some sort of insecurity about it around her peers or something like that. I guess I could, but I, there isn't a lot of times that I'm actually around other fighters other than the ones at my gym. Yeah, you don't really hear them talking trash or anything no. like that. No, no. But the Instagram trolls are, can be. I want to be like the person and be like, yeah, come to my gym and come spar me. Do you ever see what Deontay Wilder did to a troll? Mm -mm. This troll, it's the best. This troll was talking shit to Deontay Wilder. Mm -hmm. Relentlessly, relentlessly. Yeah. He goes, come to my gym. This moron showed, showed up, up at his gym. <gasps> oh, good heaven. You know, Deontay Wilder's the hardest punching man on the Ever, planet. Ever, right? Yeah. Knocks everybody out. This moron shows up and puts gloves on mm. with Deontay Wilder in the, in the ring. That's not a good idea. He got starched. It was yeah. fantastic. It was fantastic. I would love to do that. I would love to. No one's ever showed up so far. Actually, actually, but then I... Um, Some of those dads will show up. Well, yeah, actually. So I made the mistake of like seeing... So like a fan was like, hey, when can I meet you? And I'm like, oh, well, and my gym's always open. Uh, he shows up. I was like, he when we showed up. In. Okay, yeah. yeah. He No, he showed up. Talked to me for like hours, and I didn't really realize how... You're he was so like much creepy it was. So, so he's so like, hey, I've been messaging you on Instagram a lot. So I find his messages on Instagram. He's messaged me every single day, 10 times a day for three years. You got a stalker on your hands. Three years. The not, it gets so much worse than that. So then he's like saying we need to be together and all law says he, I'm meant to be his wife. And oh, wow. it totally obsessed with me. And he was, lived in like Michigan, moved to California to be with me. Got a membership at Team Alpha Male. Got a membership at the gym. Holy was training there. I had pictures of me training. I had this whole time he was stalking me and I had no idea. And he went in to say like I was too nervous to say hi to you today and it's a picture of me. Whoa. And I was too nervous and yeah. So then he was finally he said he was finally gonna give up. And then he was out riding his bike thinking like okay I need to give up on her. He gets hit by a car and he thought it was God's way of saying not to give up <laughs> and that he was meant to be you with You gotta me. love the dedication. Okay? So how would this even come? He shows up at my gym in Oregon and he followed me on a like Instagram live I did and was like, oh, you said anyone could come and I, I knew you meant me. I knew you were talking to me. Goes to my husband and says, hey, you know, I know you're married, but I, I want your I want your girl and she's gonna be mine. Uh -huh. He just broke his hand like uh, in a fight. So luckily, yeah, it goes on to say he wants to be with me, and Ed Herman was there, who's, you know, his I love fight Ed. name is I used Short to train Fuse. with Ed. Yeah, he's the best. Fight, fight name is Short Fuse. He goes off, and he's like, you stupid mother, this, and I'm going to Told him what's up? There. Yeah, told him what's up, got him to leave, and Ed's a, you know, a bigger guy. This guy was small. It's not small, yeah. No, so, uh, oh, told him off, got him to leave, told him if he comes back, he's going to, like, kill him, and... Ed saved the day. And so Ed the guy hasn't it. come back? He did not he come back. He still slides in your DMs, though. I hope not. He's, I you did, don't see I him. I did block him. You gotta block him. I did. He moved to Oregon to be with me. He moved to California. was too nervous to say hi. Moved to Oregon to be with me. But yeah, luckily, Ed was there. And then we've like, I Googled him, so I was able to, because he signed a waiver at my gym, pull up his like 
Hey, but, Search him. but also the gym. Let's do a little background check on the guy. Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't. So he just signed a waiver like a typical dude, and he had been in prison. He had been in and out of jail. Gee, this could have got ugly. It could have been really bad. And his most recent offense was he was like arrested for being a felon with a firearm. Man, this, oh, is, yeah. this is dangerous. That was the worst I've had so far. Worst, yeah. That's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. husband has the, the, mm -hmm. a tough gig, man. A tough gig, brother. Not just being dudes really up in buff. Bellator. <laughs> He's buff and scary looking. He's a throat tattoo. Good for you. I don't know if I could deal with it. Um, so I'll get you out on this. Can't get you out of without any predictions. Mm -hmm. Who do you see getting the title shot? Because there, there's some big fights coming up in your there division. Is. We just had Michelle Watterson on. She was on yep. food truck. She okay, was but great. She's, uh, I'm a 25 now. I know. I'm just. I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. Okay. So it, at 25. Which is interesting. Yeah, actually. Go ahead. So during my time off, I thought I could get my diet in check and like not eat like this, and I could drop down to 115 again for my last UFC fight. Oh. That's actually been a thought in my mind. So that Has might it? happen. Or I'm not sure yet. But it, but something. You but I could. Consider. Yeah, yeah. considered. I have, like started working with a nutritionist, and of course they know they could get me down and. And you have time to. Plan I have so it. much time to like it's plan just, it. Yeah, because like you bigger, can still do cardio. Yeah, and then, yes, and I was going to do, oh, I told you about the little bike you ride. I want one of those. Yes. Um, Peloton, what are yeah. we doing? What are we doing? I would doing? like a bike. Please. What are we doing? Uh, because I can have my arms stationary and not move it. Yeah, and it's still, a good like, workout, pedal too. And get cardio. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get one of those. Uh, I feel like there's more exciting, just bigger fights for me at 115 right I now. I agree 100%. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm excited for you. I'm Thank excited you. for you because. Got a lot going on. You do have a lot going on, which is a good thing, because mm -hmm. most fighters just hurt and they get super sad. And they get. They don't, I know. hate been there, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's the worst. I'm staying busy with my time off. Yes, which mm -hmm. is smart. You're still staying out there. So you got your injury that you're going to deal with. You're going to have surgery. Yep. Good luck on your surgery. Thank you. You're maybe considering cutting to 115. Maybe considering cutting And you're banking on yourself, which I love. Banking on myself. I One fight left, I, you know. I think everyone's excited for you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed this the This is great. I'm going to shake your broken hand. I Thank don't you. hurt your hand. Oh, it's not bad. It doesn't hurt Paige right Van Zandt. <laughs>